and you know they won't try and construct anything else until they've constructed the thing they need golden ornaments and there's no one there to make it because you don't have the building which means I have to find more villages and that means effort right trees right ah food who needs it actually no I'll place the arrow oh you're gonna do it for me oh cool okay I'll let you do that then that's your job Right, uh, I won't mess my bones on here. I will instead just pilfer the rest of your trees. Oh, you've already done that. Gosh darn it. Right. Uh, wrong button. Ah, tree's mine. Don't even try and nick it. I'm nicking it first. But no, like you, like you can see, the villagers, the AI is just... It's not like anything I'd expect from Minecraft, because when you look at normal village, like vanilla... Vi did you just nick my wood? You... Go, yeah, go drink, you alcoholic. Oh, fun fact of the uh, mod. Uh, in Norman villages with taverns, with certain amounts of alcohol, the chance of uh, n children being spawned in increases. Yeah. This game actually has a mechanic for drunk sex. I know. And um, what do you know? It's the Westerners that are... But they're French, so it's fine. I don't feel insulted. I mean, ignore the fact that, you know, Britain is like Norman. But, pff, details. Details, details. Oh, shit, he's going to try and my wood. Oh, hell no, nigga. The wood is mine, bitch. Oh, what the hell? No. You can't swandle my hack. And that's a really bad time to... Ah! Honestly, they're like... Master... Tr okay, they're not... It's not perfect AI. The fact is, they are actually going around doing things. I think the only time... They don't seem to do anything... But somehow they do... Do things... Even though they're not... Is, um... Mayan villages. They're mines. Basically, all that happens is a guy walks around the bottom with a spade and does nothing. He just walks for the entire day. Annoying when you try to mine in there and he gets in the way and you accidentally damage him. It does not please the rest of the Mayans. Uh, and ev and the fact is, even if it wasn't an accident, chance it would have only been a few more minutes before it became an accident. But that's another story. Right, so I've got hardly any wood. I need, I need, I need to get wood. Uh, what's nearby? Is that a jungle? Oh, cool. Let's go get the jungle wood. Although, it would be nice to have installed a mod that, you know, uh, let me cut down trees in one swipe. Oh, well. Let's go this way. Oh, a pink tree. I want the pink tree. No, I need oak wood. Oh, they can do the oak wood. Right, what's over here? Jungle trees. Oh no, these are the tiny are these the tiny jungle trees? No, wait, what is it? It is forested hills. Ooh. Lummy. We're going for the pink one though. Oh, oh we'll mess run. Don't run. You use up the food. Well you're gonna die anyway, so it doesn't make any Oh hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. What we got here then? What is this? This Saru Sakura Blossom Log? Cool. I don't know what that is, but I want it. G give me that. Da. No. Oh, my aim is so bad. I cannot aim at all. This wood looks really weird. Because it's, it's like joining in four ways because of how they've made it like how um, fences work which it always kind of annoys me that fences try to make, like grab onto things nearby because it's like you're not meant to grab onto that it's uh anyway <coughs> <coughs> I'm fine I'm fine right uh what time is it ooh quarter past six better get some food on soon uh, uh, I don't know how long I've been recording at all. Must be a pretty good long time. Oh well, at least I have a series that I won't really need to edit anything out for once. Which is, you know, different. 
Alrighty then. Let's get on here. Can I reach that one? No! Wasting my axe. Even though it's a wooden axe that I won't use that much. And I'm using it on a stupid little tree that I don't care about. Um, what have I got? Uh. Right. Uh. Do do do. Just to. There we go. Ah! Uh, no. Goodness sake. There we go. Right. Aha, uh -huh, much easier. You see? Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. There's so much wood on this tree. It's crazy. It's just cray. Okay, note to self, don't try and chop these trees down. It'll take too long. Right, down goes the wood. Uh, Oh. This is a really inefficient way of getting wood. And yes, there are... Oh. This whole episode is just going to be full of things that people are going to take as innuendos. And a couple of them have been. But yeah. Uh, is it... Oh, it's night time again! I'm so bad at this game, I, I can't do anything. All I can do is just chop down trees very inefficiently. Right, where I can see the wood, I'm just going to chop down the leaves so that it falls. Is there, was there a bit up here? No. I think that was a bit... Uh, no, that was it. Was that it? I don't know. Don't ask me things! Right, yeah, that was it. Okay. Right, swap to the sword. Get this useless wood that I will never use again in my life. Oh, and there's that bit there. Oh, yeah. And a uh, floating dirt block. There we go. Okay, and then, shall I run back to the village? I'll die anyway, and then I will be, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, these early Minecraft is always just gathering wood, and I'm really bad at it. I'm just so bad at gathering resources, it's unreal. Is that uh, all of it? Uh, oh, my brightness is so, why do I always, right, I'm sorry, but your brightness is probably really low, guys. So I'll, like, put it onto, like, bright. Just for you guys. And for me as well, but for you guys mostly. Oh, something over there. Okay. Anyway, let's just chop down a few trees, and then we will do some thing. I don't know, this is probably really boring for you guys, but I'm actually enjoying myself immensely. I mean, too much, really, when all I'm doing is chopping down trees. Just the idea that I'm doing it for like a village that cares, a village where they, you know they do things, because that's one of the great things in the video games when you realise that the uh, AI is actually smart. It's like when you're even if it's something bad that happens, the fact that you realise it's the AI is actually doing things. Like um, best example, um, if anyone's played Fallout 3, um, if you haven't, uh, I'll explain. Um, basically there's these, like, well, there's two things. There's your, com like, companion-type people who basically, yeah, they follow you around, you know, like in Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, Skyrim, and all of that. Oh, that's a glacier over there, by the way. Um, right, I'm gonna get killed, so I'll just run. To the water! No, run! Run! Let me run! I'm double-tapping. There we go. And that was useless. Uh... Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, and, um, but basically, if you sent your companions away, uh, something they changed in New Vegas, but in Fallout 3, if they sent your companions away, they would literally walk all the way back to a certain location. And while that's a bit stupid, the fact is, even when you weren't in the game, even when you left the game, area. Well, no, no. What am I talking about? Not when you left the game. When basically you're in an area that it hasn't rendered, it still counts them as walking along. And they can die even if the area isn't even loaded at all. They can die on the way. And it's not a case of, oh, we'll throw a random death mo um thing. Whatever you call it. Not monitor. What are they called? Uh, I forgot. Modifier. A random death modifier or something like, oh, there's 
10% chance that they will die, or something. It is a case of, you know, uh, ah, oh, I can kill them while they're sleeping. Haha, <laughs> no. Um, it's a case of something, I forgot. It's a case of they do actually, you know, they go there and they die on the way. And it's, and it's not just those people, it's like, um, another good example is, um, leader of the Republic of Dave. Surprisingly, his name is Dave. Uh, why is it not letting me eat? Oh, there we go. There, the leader of Republic of Dave, um, oh, I keep forgetting what I'm saying. He, uh, you can basically get him ousted by, the way it, you do it is very impressive, I'll go on to that in a second. Um, but, uh, <coughs> he will then, wait, once he's ousted, he'll walk along, and he will, you know, even though it's just a random NPC that you will never see again, he will go somewhere and stay there, and he will actually go, and he can die on the way, even if you're not in that area. And um, another one that has uh, traders that go around that you can invest in, and they can still die. Um, and so many other things. The fact is, it's got the AI, and you realise, even though it's a terrible thing that's happened, because it's just messed up the story. And the whole game, well maybe not the story, definitely not the story, but it's messed up the game so much for you. But the fact is it's that realistic. And the, uh, <coughs> there's also things like, um, oh, uh, what is it? Well, yeah, Republic of Dave guy. Uh, one bit where you have this voting thing, and, uh, spoiler alert, if you want to get him ousted, you've actually got to disguise yourself. And as he opens the ballot box, steal the votes for him, and it actually counts that in. It doesn't just do like a scripted event where he opens the votes and it counts them based on what's already happened previously. It actually does a vote count. He actually has a time between opening the box and actually counting what's there. It actually looks at what's there rather than just a random number. It has physical votes that it counts, and you actually can steal the votes. And which is really quite impressive. And yeah, like this, it's... That was a really, really big tangent, I'm sorry. But basically it's going like this, the AI is just all these little things where you see they're doing things. I mean, they do actually freeze if you get far enough away. Six meters to the west. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um... Ah, oh, night time. It's so annoying, because I can't do anything. All I can do is talk. And I'm sure you guys don't like that. I know. Let's have a look at recipes. Or uses of things. Woohoo! Fuel! Um... Let's see what we use this for. Wood planks. And we can smelt it to make charcoal. We can fuel it to make whatever the heck we like. And we can use this, oop, right click, to make wooden things. It's quite a nice looking wood, I'm going to say. Just, yeah, just expect innuendos. This, the problem is, in Minecraft, it's going to 